Hi kids, it's Carrie Bring from the McDill Air Force Base Library. Today I am reading No More Naps. This book was published by Random House in 2020. No More Naps, a story for when you're wide awake and definitely not tired. Written by Chris Gravenstein, pictures by Leo Espinoza. Annalise Devin McFleece did not want to take a nap. She doesn't look very happy, and either does her parents. She would fuss. She would fume. She would scream. She would shriek. But she would never ever take a nap. Do you know anybody like that? You're tired, said her mother. You're cranky, crooned her father. You're m making my, my cakes cr crumble worried the baker downstairs. I've never heard anything so loud, shouted the construction workers breaking up concrete on the sidewalk. But it didn't matter what her parents or the baker or the construction workers or anybody said. Do you think Annalise Devin McFleece would take a nap? See? Look at everybody on the street. Everybody can hear her screaming and crying. No, she would not. So her father plotted the perfect plan. Let's go for a stroll. That will surely make you sleepy. Outside, the sun was warm. Annalise's stroller rocked. It rolled. Sleepy? asked her father with a big, great yawn. Annalise answered with, only, with the only word she could actually say out loud. And she could say it very, very loudly. Do you know what that one word was? No, cried Annalise Devin McFleece. No, 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 no. Please take a nap, begged her father. Please? No. Excuse me, said a man sitting nearby. If she won't take a nap, may I have it, please? Uh, I will also take a nap, said a woman. I've had such a busy day. A nap would be the perfect thing to perk me up. And do you know what happened next? Everybody wanted to take a nap. And the kids playing ball, the man selling hot dogs, and the dog walker walking dogs, and the baker frosting cookies, and the construction workers jackhammering the sidewalk. And the police officers on patrol. Even the man who emptied the garbage cans. And the boy on his skateboard. And the girl practicing her juggling. Everybody wanted to take a nap. Yuff! 
yawned a big dog stretching out to snooze while two squirrels took a nap in a tree and a mouse took a nap in a pile of leaves. A flock of pigeons took a nap. Karoo, karoo, karooing because that's how pigeons snore. There's the dog. There's the pigeons. There's even a little mouse here. And the squirrels in the tree. Even the ducks on the pond tucked in their feathers and closed their eyes. Before long, every single creature in the whole park had decided to take a nap. But what about Annalise Devin McFleece? Do you think she was taking a nap? No, that's right. She was the only one in the whole wide sleepy world who would not fall asleep. Look at everybody. Everybody's asleep. And there's Annalise. Now there was nothing for Annalise to do. No one to play with, no one to fuss, fume, scream, or shriek at. And all those soft, steady sounds of gentle snoozing. They made her feel sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Her eyes grew heavier and heavier. So heavy, she wanted to take a nap. But she couldn't because... All the naps had already been taken. But I want to take a nap, shouted Annalise Devin McFleece. I want to take a nap. Of course, she didn't really know how to say any of those words. So all that came out was, what? It jounced and jangled and jogged around the park. Do you hear it too? But everybody was snoozling so soundly, they didn't even hear it. Except a gray cat with white paws napping in a window. said the cat, stretching herself awake. Don't worry, little girl. Why, I've taken so many naps. I have naps to spare. You can take one of mine. Well, if you listen closely, you might hear it. Shh, listen. Can you hear it? Can you hear all that quiet? Do you know what that means? That's right. Annalise Devin McFleece finally, finally, finally took a nap. Sleep tight. The end. So this was a story for when you are wide awake and definitely not tired. That's the story for today, kids. Have a good day. Until next time.